Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to teach you how to use Photoshop Elements 11 to create the starburst effect on some of your lights to give your Christmas tree that pop. Or if you don't have any lights on at all, we can add those light streaks into your Christmas tree. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to first thank John W. Davis Jr. over at Flickr for letting me use this photo using the Creative Commons license. I'm going to turn off the layer that I just created with the star effect. You can see that there's star effect right there. I'm going to turn that layer off and that is the original photo that I have there. What I'm also going to do is go over to edit and revert my photo. You don't have to do this but I added a few extra layers and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So you have your photo here. It's a great looking Christmas tree but you just want to add a little bit of pop to that. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to put the star effect individually on each light. Now I am going to put the star effect on red lights so what I want to do is I want to go to my foreground palette and I want to change that to the red color right there in my foreground palette. So I'm going to change that to red right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my brush tool right over here and then if you don't see the tool options on the bottom you can click on the tool options from the very bottom that is in Photoshop Elements 11. We go over here to the drop down box and drop that down and we pick assorted brushes from these options right here. and I'm going to pick assorted brushes and then we're going to scroll down and as you scroll down you're going to see all these great brushes that are built into Photoshop but over here where it says 50 I'm going to pick the starburst small right over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that cursor where my paintbrush is. I'm going to put that on top of my picture and then I'm going to use the bracket keys to increase the size to where I want it. So you want the starburst or you want the star filter to be able to be a little bit larger so that you can see the star effect. Now what I'm going to do is add a new layer over in my layers palette that's over at the top here that's what I call the dog ear icon that is going to add an empty layer. We're going to paint now and in the mode I want you to choose light and so that's the painting mode. So we're going to go over here to all my red lights and we are going to paint right on top of all the red lights. Now it doesn't look really realistic right now but we're going to change that in a few minutes. So I'm going to do this to a few lights here so you can get the idea of how this is going to look right here we're adding all these red lights I will also show you a way to do this a little bit quicker now I want to add pink lights now so I'm gonna change my foreground palette to pink and I'm gonna pop this on all my pink lights right over here there's a few of them inside this picture now I'm going to change that to yellow in my foreground palette and I'm going to put the starburst effect on some yellow lights. Now of course this has to be on an empty layer or a transparent layer so we can get the effects to work. I think that's enough and you get the idea. So I am going to go over here under my effects and then in the drop down box here I'm going to select outer glows and then if you pick the third one over and third one down that is a simple outer glow just double click on that and that is going to add just a little bit of pop to your starburst effect now that's looking really fake about now so what we need to do is go back to our layers palette and we need to change the blending mode and this time we're going to go to linear dodge and what that will do is allow the light to pop through that starburst effect. Now if it looks a little bit too overdone you can go over to your opacity and you can draw down the opacity just a little bit so it looks a little bit more like the lights are producing that starburst effect. Now I told you I was going to show you a way to do it a little bit quicker. Now it's not as accurate. Let's turn this layer off and then I'm going to add another new transparent layer. With this effect we need to keep the same brush but over in our brush settings right over here we are going to slide the scatter all the way to the right. 
as we do that you'll see that the starburst pattern gets scattered. We also want to move the spacing over to the right until we start seeing the spacing that we like on this brush right here. I'm going to keep mine at about 50% right here. Another thing that I like to do is I like to use the hue jitter and what that will do is that will change the colors as I'm painting on the layer. So I'm going to bring the hue jitter all the way to the right. Now I'm going to pick a nice color over here, probably going to put it back to red and do that. Now I'm going to change the background color. I want to put that one at yellow and select OK. Now when I tap on my picture, it will fade or change the color from red to yellow as I tap on there. They'll have different ones. Now as I click on these, you can see that there are yellow, red, orange lights right there. We can also go here and now we can change this to green and it will transform from green to yellow. I'm going to keep tapping right here until I get a lot of lights. Now of course this isn't very accurate and you notice that these starbursts are not coming off the lights. This is more of a lazy person's way of doing this but I know you may not have the time. We also need to go over here under the effects tab. We need to add our simple outer glow here by double clicking on that. Then we need to go back to our layers palette and we need to change our blending mode and we need to go to linear dodge. Now of course once again that might be a little bit overdone here so I'm going to draw down the opacity just a tiny bit until we have some lights on our Christmas tree right there. Now you may have noticed if I zoom out a little bit here you may have noticed that some of these lights got on the walls and some of the blinds so in that case because it's on a transparent layer we can take the eraser tool and we can erase all those starbursts that are not on the tree where they're supposed to. Of course I like to do the individual starbursts because those go on the lights. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial adding a little bit of starburst or lights to a Christmas tree that might look a little bit dull. If you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like and pass my video on to your friends. Cheers!